Hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, look who's here. <laughs> Where the hell you been? Laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. And when Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we oh, talked about much? yesterday? We'll see you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Do it. Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store and he's not paying it back fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why's everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys over. But it was small-time crap. He shakes down these hard-up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining and keep in touch with Derek, trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf bricks. In pursuit of a hit and run driver. Copy that. What do you got, an aversion to red lights? Vito, open this door. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? Yeah, you're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, Fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my get ass. Fuck out of here. <laughs>
Gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Come ah, on, let's get out of here! I'm trying! trying. I open his door. Keep those assholes off my back. Almost got it. One more, just a little longer. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay. Got it. Vito, come on. Freeze! Police! There's no way out! Not a dead end. <clears throat> we gotta go this way, it's our only shot. Ah, Vito, move your ass! Are you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. One Please, slip and we're dead. Please. We got no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Get your ass over here. You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit. Jesus, be careful. I almost lost it. Yeah, I think I just shit myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. This way. This should take us to the street.
Speed up, come on! Henry's never gonna believe this. Stupid bastards. Let's go. Fuck off, copper! I didn't do nothing! Look at the Irish my hands! <sighs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Don't Shit. worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Some kind of I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Hold up, y'all.
Take care and come. Evening, sir. Are you looking to buy a gun or you just need some ammo? And back again. If you listen. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. But what's this? Well, uh, hot off the ECNR news desk, ladies and gentlemen. But we have a breaking news story in involving a shooting at. Yes, it appears that the. I loaded these ball. myself in the back. Not much of a way of shooting at Penrose. Forgive me as I go through it. Uh, well, it, it appears that the police have exchanged gunfire with unknown suspects. Uh, arrests have been made. I repeat, arrests have been made. Bye-bye. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you had passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm, maybe next time, doll. Bye. Huh, that was something.
and drawn. Get the hell I... back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong. Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal. Knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Hey, fellas. Hey! Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salud. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if yous are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune! Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry what you said, said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, I... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? 
Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, see you later. Good luck, pal. Okay, take care. Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds, 7.92 caliber, 1,200 rounds per minute, fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Wait, wait. Where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. 
Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Hey, be careful. It's me, Vito. So what do you need, Vito? I'll tell you, the Flamer. It's really the best shotgun available. I don't even carry any others. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that.
Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, we buy your ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. Uh, things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up, so... He sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. That's him, Vito. First, Vito, you're the fucking warden. Go, They're go, we'll cover for you. you porky. The button, Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? Why? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on a job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Something. We can't just fucking sit here. What the fuck do you expect me to do? They shoot at me for Christ's sake. Vito, do something. You're the expert here. Let's go, Vito. That's the fucking best you got. Uh oh, you're in trouble. Come on, 
Porky's upstairs! Vito. Go, go, coming we'll cover for you, Porky. I'm going in. I got you covered, Vito. Cover my back. You're fucking dead. You shoot like oh fuck. What? <laughs> Damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of time. You okay? We'll get him. Button, Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? 
When did you turn Irish? his regards. Oh! Fuck! <coughs> oh, fuck you! Oh, sorry you... <coughs> Henry, you okay? <coughs> Where'd he hit? Of course I'm not fucking okay! He shot me in the fucking leg! <coughs> Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of a place. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor. Okay, okay, you easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Oh, oh, Maron, oh. you're heavier than you look. Fat fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Hey, careful! This fucking hurts. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't quit your moaning. Hey, you don't no. need to get pissy. Please, I don't want to die. Don't bleed at that here. Oh! Let's go, Pito! Let the ammo! This whole fucking place is coming apart. Stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh, you shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah? And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. Nah. 
Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Oh. In pursuit of armed suspect, we take. Copy that. Come on, can't this thing go any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking <sighs> golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy taking Henry to El Greco? He's a doctor. Draw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, the first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help. He's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry. We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could've waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll stay here with him. Meet me in my place. <clears throat> All right.
Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss from I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito.